John Kennedy in focus now, Republican senator from Louisiana and member of the Senate Judiciary Committee. Good to see you today. Uh, first of all, how bad is it? Is it being overblown, the infighting that's going on down chamber? Well, here's what I've observed. Um, the Democrats are pretty much in total disarray. Uh, President Biden is sort of like... Um, Kevin Bacon at the end of uh, Animal House when, when people are stampeding him and he's saying, calm down, be calm, everything's under control. Wow. Um, uh, they say they have a framework. Mm -hmm. Now, to me, a framework is, is, is when your, your car is, has uh, two wheels down, it's axle dragging, you're in the ditch, you don't have any help and you tell your spouse, Honey, I've got a framework to get to, <laughs> to get us out of this ditch, and, and I think that's where where we are. Um, based on the little I've seen of the framework, I just love that term. Only Washington framework. Um, I've got a framework to be a billionaire someday. You know, oh. um, um, see, I, I, I think people who who are successful financially should be applauded, not criticized in America. But I love this term framework. And uh, I've seen a little of it. I know this, they're going to try to crush small business. And oh, they're right. making tax policy on the basis of class warfare. So, Senator, let me ask you this, because those are dire issues that you're bringing up, potentially, that could pass in this bill. Um, you know, you saw the, the Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez pleading mm -hmm. for tax. She wants something in writing. Who's wearing the pants in the scenario among the Democrats? And, and what can Republicans make of that? Is there, is there some pressure to be applied? We, we know that, that Joe Manchin of West Virginia certainly has at least one leg of those pants on. But is there some pressure to be applied to maybe get what you want? Well, it's, it's rare that I agree with Congress, the Congresswoman. But on this one, I think she's right. Anybody who votes mm. for any of these bills without seeing the fine print mm -hmm. uh, is like a rock, only dumber. Because that's where, that's how they get in all their nasty provisions. They talk about frameworks and outlines and top lines and concepts, typical per permanent Washington type speak. And then they put all the nasty stuff in the fine print. Well, Nancy Pelosi told us you gotta, you gotta pass a thing before you know what's in it. Speaking of her, by the we, way. We know how that turned out. Exactly. That, that's why I'm wondering why they would do that to themselves this time. It, it just seems so self-defeatist. Uh, earlier this month, Speaker Pelosi said this about the public's perception of the bill, since, I mean, obviously it's not writing the way that we would want it to be. And she talked about its popularity. Let's watch. Do people know where it, it springs from? No. But it is a, a vast bill. It has a lot in it. And we'll have to continue to make sure the public does. But whether they know it or not, they overwhelmingly support it. Uh, okay. I just have to pause there. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? I'm not sure. Uh, uh, maybe that's how they came up with their framework. The, the, you know, what do the American people think about this? I'm biased, of course, and we'll find out on the midterm elections. But I, I think a majority of Americans uh, are, are saying, you know, Republicans aren't perfect, but the Democrats are now crazy. Uh, they, they, uh, they think they can tax spend and regulate us into prosperity. And they think America can only be great through its federal government. The federal mm -hmm. government didn't make America great. Ordinary people doing extraordinary things things did. And I think a lot of them are thinking, you know, what I've said before, you know, America was founded by geniuses, but it's being run by idiots. Wow. Well, there are places where we need the federal government, but they're just not engaging, like at the border. How about tackling inflation? I mean, they could lean in and make a difference, but those are all the points where they sit down. It's very confusing. The Wall Street Journal is out mm -hmm. with this op-ed. And it's titled Fly-By-Night Taxation. And it reads in part, one day it's an increase in tax rates and corporations and the affluent. But wait, that doesn't have the votes. How about a carbon tax? That won't fly either. Hey, there goes Jeff Bezos. Let's tax him and 699 other billionaires. It polls well. Everyone hates billionaires. 
Real, is this how you put legislation? It, it sounds like a bunch of people with crayons just throwing it at the other people's heads. Well, it, it reminds me of the politician, and, and we've known several, that basically say to the people, I have principles, and if you don't like them, I have others. Mm -hmm. uh, you, don't, you don't make tax policy on the basis of class for warfare, and you don't make tax policy solely on, on, uh, on revenue. This is an extraordinarily complex economy, the greatest economy in all of human history. And uh, you sit down and you, you make thoughtful changes. You also look for offsets. If mm -hmm. you're going to raise taxes here, you want to look for a way to cut taxes but over But Biden here. and his they White House senators say this costs zero. Oh, well, <laughs> I don't... <laughs> Somebody at the White House has been smoking the devil's lettuce. Okay. Hey. I mean, I mean, I'm just telling you, if they th think this is zero, either that or they think the American people are morons and will believe anything. Senator, you never edit your words, and it is amazing to see you talk so candidly about what's going on in the Hill. And and this was supposed to be their show. They're in the majority in the House, slightly, barely, sometimes in the Senate, and they've got the White House. Um, you and your colleagues on the Senate Judiciary Committee went after somebody else with the administration yesterday, mm -hmm. the Attorney General Merrick Garland. And we carried parts of it here on Fox. During this hour, it got really heated. Senators demanding to know why the AG wants the feds to go after parents and what he knows about reports the White House coordinated with that National School Board Association, the teachers union, on its letter. Let's watch just a clip. In drafting the letter, the National School Board Association collaborated with the White House. The White House promptly called you and said, sick the FBI on parents at school board hearings. The White House is the prophet here. You're just the vessel. Isn't that correct? You have weaponized the FBI and the Department of Justice. It is unprecedented to my knowledge in the history of this country, and I call on you to resign. Did you consider the chilling impact your memorandum would have on parents exercising their constitutional rights? Why would you ever release a memo? I mean, did you write that memo? Did staff write that memo? What would have led you to do this? It is so over the top. Your directive, your performance is shameful. Okay. That's not Th correct. Thank God you are not on the Supreme Court. You that should resign in disgrace, Judge. Yeah, there was Senator Cotton of Arkansas reminding everybody that that was Obama's pick for the U.S. Supreme Court. Uh, at then, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to put that up for a vote. Uh, Senator Kennedy, is it just Garland? Is it just the DO DOJ? Is it the White House? Is it a further? Who's against parents right now in this administration or something else? I sat through the whole hearing, Harris. I walked away thinking... Um... Forget Mars. We need to look for intelligent life in Washington, D.C. Uh, it's not personal, but, but no. Judge Garland didn't rock it yesterday. But to be fair, as I've said at the hearing, uh, he's just a vessel here. He's a tool. This is coming out of the White House. The White House supports critical race theory. They support the proposition that white babies are born bad and African-American babies are born hopeless and can succeed without government help. And parents don't support that because they don't believe it and they don't want it taught to their kids. And so they told Merrick Garland, sick the FBI on them. And as best I can tell, the Department of Justice now plans to go after anybody caught with a copy of the Constitution. And let's start with, uh, with uh, parents at school board meetings. And you don't think that will stop now? Because it, it didn't seem like the attorney general was going to walk back anything, apologize for anything. Nah. W what's happening with that? You know, he's following orders here. And uh, um, some of the members of the woke left, the wokers, uh, are upset. They called the White House, said, you got to do something about this. They're getting in the way of our critical race theory agenda. Um, you know, President Biden's a nice guy, but uh, mm -hmm. he's, not, he's not running this show. I mean, he's delegated his authority to a bunch of wokers in the White House, and they call Garland, and they said, go do it. And uh, he did it. And there's no stopping it? I don't think so, no.
Wow. I mean, we, we've got bills, and we're going to continue to raise fresh hell every day. And I want to encourage every, te every parent out there to please get involved in your kid's education. If uh, somebody gives you trouble, call me. Um, we've got too many kids in this country who are more likely to grow up and go to prison than own a home or, uh, or get married, and it's because of lack of parental involvement. We ought to be doing everything we can to encourage it. So if you want to get involved in your kid's education and somebody gives you trouble about it, call me. Wow. Senator, that was for everybody. Amazing. Whew. You got a big job there on the Hill. I loved what you said about looking for intelligence. We found some today. Thank you. Good to see you. Thanks, sir. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.